Okay, these are it, Wing Chun, these are called Man Sao, it means the asking hands. These are the entry techniques of Wing Chun. Uh, first couple are from classical Wing Chun. The rest of them are things that I found in sparring. Uh, so, we should call this my stuff instead of Wing Chun. I got it from Wing Chun, but uh, I don't want to be accused of destroying the art or anything. So, first one, now this is a drill. This is to teach you how to open and trap and get in. Not how you use it in sparring. That's different. This trains you to look for and create an opening for yourself. It also trains you to destroy or to uh, sucker him into thinking he has a sleeping hand. We'll move the end. <laughs> so when you move this in and trap this down, normally their hand tries to come up through the center there, which you can't. And that's where you have your entry. So the first one is literally climbing over. The rear hand climbs over the front and pushes, and then the other hand that's up here will either punch or just stay there, but either one, you climb that one over second, and then keep the hand going this way. So it looks like this. From the rear, one, two, three. One, two, three. Number two is, I call it the Snake River. You just snake in like this. And what you're going to do is not knock his hand out to China, but just open it up just enough so you have a clear shot straight to the chest there. What you're going to do is trap his hand out again. So his one hand is going to do both jobs in this case. One, two, three. And in these cases also, if I go here and he punches, I'm, I've still got the covering hand there. This will still fire. So in both cases, I've allowed him to punch if he wants to, and I'm ready for it. He can punch if he wants to, and I'm ready for it. So here I just go one, two, and I'm in. There's the trap. Here's normally, again, that fighting hand, and here's my shot. The third one is the inside hook and chop. Right from here, 